Butterflies. You mean red butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hi, my name is Brianna, and welcome to my reaction commentary channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 3 of Euphoria on HBO. Now, a lot of crazy things happened in the last episode, but before we get into it, if you do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications, follow me on all my social media, and that way we can skip the chit chat and get straight to the good part. When Cal was a senior in high school, Good morning, Dingleberry. Oh, okay, wow. Not Derek. Y'all are really playing games with the fandom, so wow. Bill. Okay, I'm glad we're getting a Cal backstory. Okay, yep. Definitely Cal's backstory. Looks a lot like Nate's backstory. You wanna get a milkshake? Is that a metaphor? The best part about his relationship with Derek was that they could talk for hours. Okay, I don't wanna be like, oh, it's cute because they get it's cute. They were that close, that comfortable. And I, ooh. Cal, you were not very discreet, but met Marsha junior year. Marcia. Okay, girl, get your toes. Do you want to die? And even though he wasn't always comfortable, he was grateful she pushed his boundaries. He couldn't wait to tell Derek. And then she invited me. <laughs> <laughs> and like just went for it. <laughs> Was it good? I mean, yeah. And like He said, I had my first sexual experience with a woman, and the only thing I could think of is when can I tell my best friend? <laughs> Derek, hit the road. Uh yeah. I'll see you at practice. Yep. Have a good night, Mr. Jacobs. Disapproving, homophobic dad. Get up. I will. Right now. I don't feel well. Oh. You're fine when I He's up. <laughs> of a child. I met a girl. And so did Derek. Oh. 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> and just like that, it became a regular thing. Um, hello, teenagers. Are you using protection? You are a jealous person. <laughs> you are so jealous. Derek is not here for Marsha trying to take his man. Derek insisted they go celebrate. Just the two of them. Oh. All right. No place will serve us just now. Go up 27. Gosh dang it, they're so cute. I mean, not wholesome, <laughs> but adorable. Shit. Good job for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. This is totally a gay bar. <laughs> Oh no, don't awkward dance. No, don't, don't give me a young gay romance with awkward dancing. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like calendar. Oh, don't, we're twirling? Let's twirl. Oh, I support the gay kids. Hey babe. What's wrong? Oh, is she pregnant? What? Are you sure? Hmm? What? Are we surprised? Are you sure the test is accurate? Y'all were always hunching. It's really heavy because he finally, like, yeah. 
got to have a true honest moment with his best friend who would have been a great boyfriend okay. just to be like humble just got his heart broken twice from now he's not gonna be with Derek and he's not gonna live the life that would be more fitting for himself call me I will call you unreliable A Rihanna poster in the background. Nice. Out of my I'm to yes, Rue, put on a show. I mean, who's gonna clean up your room, but also. <laughs> Sorry, Gia. Sorry, Gia. I mean, bad Rue. <laughs> We want you sober. Girl. Rue? Rue is in her own world. Are you high? Well, until now. Oh, fuck me. Was she there the whole time or did she just walk in? I mean. Oh, girl, child. Oof. Now, as a beloved character that a lot of people are rooting for, I feel a certain responsibility to make it. Do you, Rue? But I relax. Girl, we knew that. We been done knew that. This movie's nuts. Which one is this? Oh. Killer baby? What the hell? Oh, oh. Killer mutant baby. <laughs> oh shit. I think I'm gonna start smoking weed. Gia's not gonna like that. Why would you start smoking weed? Because I have panic attacks every fucking day. And Gia is not falling for that. You are so fucking selfish. Gia, it fucking helps with my fucking anxiety, my panic attacks. I don't want to talk to you, bro. Can you just fucking listen for a second? I don't want to talk to you! Gia, stop! Gia. Oh, okay, not baby Gia. Are you fucking crazy? If you hush the fuck is wrong with Get you. Get your hands off! It's a fucking idea! I wasn't gonna fucking do it! You're a liar! I'm a fucking liar! Yes! Fucking and you don't, you don't give a something. shit about you! You don't yeah, give a shit about idea. me! You don't give a it's shit about your mama! You don't know why I'm actually doing fucking weed! It was an idea! Okay? And I should've never fucking told you because she's like fucking mom! Don't put both of fucking crazy! What in the world, Rue? No. Now, what you wanna do is make them second guess their intuition. Make them feel like any valid concern is just their anxiety getting the best of them. Step two, gaslight. Not gaslight, not the Rue. gaslight gatekeep girl boss. It's, it's not like when other people do drugs. Gia knows, Gia was there and she found you on the floor. Like, come on. It's better than committing suicide. You're really gonna go that low? That's, why, that's what I think about. That's where I'm at, Gia. Okay. That's where I'm at. Now, if you want to tell mom, you can tell. But I don't know what else I can fucking do. Rue, I am so far away from on your side right now. Rue. I love you. So please, just promise me. It's just gonna be weed and nothing. I do love how this show, like literally three minutes ago, I was loving dancing Rue, and now I'm just like disgusted by Rue's actions. Are you high? I mean, I just smoked a little bit of weed. Hey, what? <laughs> Come on, Rue. Come on. You keep going. Actually, Lexi, leave her there. I smoked a little bit of weed and forgot to mention someone that I met. You're fucking mad at me about. I'm not gonna get along with him. Why? Because he wants to fuck you. You're you created an entire narrative in your head. Do you want to fuck her? Not now. So you're straight? Kinda. Are you gay? Kinda. So you're bi? Well, I don't think of it that way. Have you guys fucked that thing? Elliot, I'm asking the fucking question. 
Why did she avoid that question? Yeah, Actually, that is a good question. How many girls have you fucked? Like, technically three. Technically? I mean, technically, the first girl, it was like two seconds. It was embarrassing. She probably wouldn't count it. She would not count it. Uh, how many guys have you fucked? 43. Are you serious? Damn. <laughs> not the damn. She doesn't want to answer that question because she's kind of a whore. A whore? a whore? A whore? Slut. She's a slut. I was going to say slut, but then whore just came Well, how many men do you have to fuck to no longer be interested in that? Hmm. Uh, I'll like tell you if you promise to never tell you. Okay, I don't like Basically. this dynamic. Do. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, really? That's fucked up. That's like a mentally ill amount of people to fuck. Not a mentally ill it's amount. Like, it's like bad. Wait, do you really think so? No. I'm kidding. Come on! You're too fast! <laughs> You're just fucking so I, I love when these two ride oh, bikes. Oh, for a reason! Come on! <laughs> it gives me the childhood innocence. Oh, for real. <laughs> Marie said, oh, girl, come on. <gasps> Not Cal. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the same looks that they had on their faces in season one. Oh, you motherfucker. <sighs> you need to no. take care of that asthma. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not good at that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Catch my breath. <laughs> my breath. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? With all the nudity that's on the show, it's like, okay, seen that, done that. But with these two, I'm like, this is a private moment. I'm going to look away. I mean, you can just stay in the good moments without the fear that they'll come to an end. And by away, I mean like destroy it. Away, away. Not dispose of it up your nostrils. Rue, you are down bad, sweetie. In the words of Gia, when you do drugs, it's not like when other people do drugs, sweetie. Lexi! Looking like little Bo Peep. Vice Principal Garcia, hi. My name is Lexi Howard. I know who you are, Lexi. <laughs> There's a principal in this school? That was weird. Um, anyway, I'm writing this play and I was wondering if I could put it on. After all that stuff with Cal at Fezco's convenience store, Lexi realized there was a reason she never tried to intervene before. She was an observer. That's who she was. She often imagined that her parents Poor were baby Lexi. Parents, and that her sister wasn't her sister, and that her house wasn't even really her house. That it was just a movie. I, I told you, I didn't promise you that. One that she was writing. Let me just show you a photo of the prosthetic. I don't really have time for that right now. My name is Lexi Howard. I am the writer, director, this and creator is life. of This Is Life. Girl, I'm here for this, but also. Well, the story's about a 16-year-old girl. The story is about a 16-year-old girl, Grace, who lives in the shadow of her older sister, Hallie. Sluttier. Tackier. Sloppier. Action! And I was like, TV show, the sidekick is the lead. A genius. Cut. Brilliant. Are you fucking high? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ruben, it's supporting actress. And friendship. And about when you know, you're younger, everything just you're feels right, girl. so permanent. Give me Lexi backstory. Give me Lexi anything, actually. So she just started writing and writing and writing. Yes, yeah, so you better find an outlet for that trauma that you've been building up. 